All right, so if you're seeing my screen, you see question number one, it's find the area and perimeter. Mm -hmm. This is a square, you know it's a square because these lines right here mean that all the sides are the same. Yep. And this means it's a 90 degree angle. So that means each of these is 5.6. Mm -hmm. So let's do the easier one. The, the perimeter is uh, all of them added up. So it's like 5.6 plus 5.6 plus 5.6 plus 5.6, or it's four times the side length because you got four mm -hmm. of them. So what is that number? That's why I asked if you had a calculator handy. You can, you can certainly use one for this today. 22.4. So that means the answer is either this one or this one. Mm -hmm. The area is base times height. This is the base and this is the height. So it's 5.6 times 5.6. 31.36. So it looks like that's the answer there. All right. Now we're going to go to another one of these. That's a, um, it's a rectangle. Mm -hmm. Let me snip that in. This is question four. We'll come back to two and three. So same thing, find the perimeter and the area. So this right here, these double lines mean that means that this is also nine X up here. This single line means that this is two X plus seven over here. Mm -hmm. So the perimeter is, is you add them all up. Now, now for the previous one, we, we could kind of shortcut it, but for this one, we'll just say nine X plus two X plus seven plus nine X plus two X plus seven. So you need to combine like terms. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you get that. Twenty two X plus fourteen. Okay, so it's either B or D. The area is base times height. The base is nine X. The height is two X plus seven. So from last year, from last, the last time you took a math class, you know to distribute this into both terms. What does that become? That'll become eight, 18x squared plus 63x. So it looks like the answer there is letter, letter D. All right, so now we're gonna do a related question to this. All right, the area of a rectangle is 107.52 and the width is 9.6. So let me draw a rectangle. Mm -hmm. And the width is 9.6. So I'm gonna call this 9.6. Mm -hmm. I'll call this the length or the height or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, but they give you the area. So the area is base times height. Well, this is the base. Mm -hmm. What's the height? I don't know. We call it call it L or call it H or whatever. Okay. And what is the area equal to? 107.52. Okay. So now this is your equation over here. Yep. How do you undo multiplication by 9.6? You divide. You divide both sides by 9.6. So L equals, that's where you're going to grab your calculator, this number divided by 9.6. All right. Do you have a result? Almost. 11.2. Very good. Okay, so now we're gonna go look at some triangles. So this, this, this uh, lesson is emphasizing the formulas of, uh, of, of rectangles, uh, squares, rectangles, and triangles. Okay, so the I'm I'm gonna in red here. I'm gonna just switch colors real quick. Um, or actually, I'm gonna do it in blue. This is the triangle in question. Okay. Okay. We'll talk about this thing over here, but that's the triangle in question. So it wants the area and the perimeter. Perimeter is usually easier. Perimeter, you're just adding up the three sides. Okay. 
So side one is x minus seven plus side two is 12 plus side three is two x plus five. So go ahead and combine like terms here and let me know what you get for the perimeter, please. Three X plus 10. Three X plus 10. So that means it's either this one or this one. So now let me draw this triangle again over here. Okay, the base, the base of the triangle is right here. Mm -hmm. The height though is this. This is the height over here. Um, this is called an altitude. And you'll see that later in the course, but because it makes it 90 degree angle, that's how you know it's, it's the altitude or the height. So the height in this case is X plus six. Mm -hmm. The area is one half base times height. Your base is 12 and your height is X plus six. This is the base, this is the height. Okay. All right, so do I just, do I use the uh, half and just cut everything in half? Like, it's, or... it's, you choose one. It could be oh, like, you just it, choose one. You're multiplying, so I would cut this in half, six mm -hmm. times X plus six. Okay. All right, now I understand. So what is the correct answer? I get 6x plus 36. Which is letter A. Yep. Excellent. OK, if I could find my mouse. Hmm. Um, where's my mouse? That's interesting. The uh, mouse stopped working. OK. Um, all right, so the last question here is like the one we just did. So I'm going to snip it in, and I'm going to ask you to do this one on your own. I'll, I'll check your answer, obviously. But um, okay. if you can do this on your own, that, that's, you know, that's preferred. So let's see here if I can get more space. This is not going to be good if I don't have that. All right, so give yourself a chance to uh, look at that and see what you come up with. Yep. All right, my answer is letter D. Okay, let me uh, just double check you here. So the uh, the perimeter is gonna be four X minus three plus X plus nine plus eight. Is that what you got? Mm -hmm. So that's five X plus 14. So it gets down to those two. And then uh, this is the, uh, that's the area there. Excellent, okay. Um, Saving something here. Okay, um, let me submit that, and then we'll go on to the uh, the next next. Oh, there's one more question. So this is um, this is also one I'd like you to do on your own. It's uh, it's like the square problem. I should have had you do it earlier. I forgot that these are six question quizzes, not five, like in your previous class. Um, I snipped it in. So if you need to check up in your notes, or I can even scroll up if you want. But 
Um, so let me know when you've got the right answer for that. And I'll just remind you that this is 2x and this is 3x minus 4 over here. All right. Thank you. Is that a square or a rectangle? It's a rectangle. And the reason okay. you know is that these are, it's visually, it looks the sides are different lengths. So these two yeah. match, but the top and bottom don't. don't match. Okay. Letter D. And yeah, I'm just looking at it over here. Um, yeah, it looks good to me. Okay, um, you comfortable with it? Yep. All right, I'm gonna submit, and then we'll move on to the uh, the next one. Okay. All right, so there was a mistake on that one. Maybe it was the last one there. Um, Oh, uh, on the previous one, you didn't, you have to cut the, uh, the area in half. So it's eight times 12, three X, but then you cut it in half. Oh, I, I did that. Sorry. I, I, I gave you the wrong, I, I, I did it right. I just, I didn't look at the, all the, all the multiple choice answers. That's okay. There's a, uh, the, the exams are more important than the, the quizzes are more important than this. The, the quizzes are more important than this. So uh, the important thing is, is, is I think there's a better understanding for this particular uh, assignment. Um, so yes. Yeah. Um, all right. So we're looking at um, next question here. So they're, they're throwing formulas at you, which is fine. I mean, I like, I, I think it's a decent way to teach geometry because you do need them. A lot of times these formulas though don't come in towards till, until the end of the class. So it says, find the circumference and area of a circle with radius seven centimeters. So here's a circle. Mm -hmm. The radius goes from the center out to the edge. Yep. The circumference has the formula two pi r. Have you seen that before? Yep. So it's two times pi times seven. What is that? That would be 14 pi. So you don't multiply, you don't, you don't use the calculator, just leave it. That's what it means by express your answer in terms of pi. Basically just ignore it until the end. Okay. The area is pi r squared. So these are two formulas, and I tend to box these in when you when you need to remember something. So this is pi times seven squared, which is 49, 49 pi. pi. So which is the correct answer here? If is so the left one is for the circumference and the right one is for the area yes okay uh it's num it's number it's letter c i agree okay so nice the nice thing is that the next couple of questions are really similar 
So we'll see if we can get through these. Actually, let me see if I can um, get both of these in one snip, I can, and see if you can get these both done together. So if you don't have those two formulas written down, you'll need them, but these are exactly the, the same. So I want you to try these. Okay. Let me know when you're done with question two. Oh, I'm already done. I thought you wanted me to do all, both of them. What's the answer for question two? The answer is letter D. Good, okay. I got letter three, I mean, number three. For for what? Of uh, of uh, for letter A. Letter A is the answer for number three. Okay, that's that's good. Okay, well done. All right, so now they're gonna the next question. They kind of they kind of change this up just a little bit. Uh, they give you another. They give you another. I don't know what the right word is, but but there's other things that you can you can describe a circle with. Um, and this time they give you the word uh, diameter. So you have a circle over here. This is the radius, but if you extend the radius all the way, that's the diameter. Oh yeah, that's right. So, okay, just so, the, it. Yeah. so the diameter is two times the radius because the radius is this. So if you double it, you get that. Do you, okay. do you, do you follow that? Yeah. So, so to find the radius, the radius is one half the diameter. Both of these are reasonable to have. I think you should remember one of them you know, your choice, basically, which way you want to remember it. Um, they're both equally valid, but really, basically, you need to say, oh, I don't care about that. I care about that the radius is 11. 11. And now this is just like the previous problem because you have the radius. The circumference is 2 pi r. The area is pi r squared. Go ahead and give me the uh, correct answer for these, please. Okay. My answer is letter A. I agree. Okay, so now there's another one just like it down here. Question six, I'm gonna snip it in and ask you to do this one on okay. your own, please. So what is the radius? Oh, the, the radius is five. Very good. And that's the value you're going to use when you do this. Answer is letter A. Hey, I agree. The next question here, the, the last remaining question here, I'll snip it in. It's actually something from the previous section. Um, it's, it's similar to that question. Um, I'd like you to try it on your own, just because we, we already did one like this. Uh, I'll, I'll hint, the hint here is to draw a picture. Okay. 
Okay, so they only want to find the area. Mm -hmm. Well, they give you the area. The area is this. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. So I just need to find what the height is. I mean, the other dimension. It it's, uses length and width, but you could use base and height if you want. Okay. No, I just need a seven point eight L equal L eight point three five. What did you come up with? 13.89. That's very, that's good. That's correct. Okay, that takes us to the end of this quiz, or not quiz, homework. Uh, I'm going to submit the answers and uh, full mark on that. All right, so let's move on to uh, Thursday's lesson. Okay. Last Thursday's lesson. All right, so last Thursday's lesson. Uh, midpoint and the distance in the coordinate plane. Okay, so they're really throwing a lot at you in uh, this first part of the course. I'm looking over the questions because there's a there's a simpler way to start these than uh, the way they do. Um, okay, so the uh, the the midpoint formula is some is a uh, that there's you're probably noticing there's a lot of formulas already in this class. Mm -hmm. So the midpoint formula is x one plus x2 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2 and in word it's it's the average so to take an average you add up two numbers and divide it by by 2 so over here you have a couple of ordered pairs this is x1 y1 x2 y2 mm -hmm. so the midpoint is the average of the x's. So you take four and negative eight, okay, and you add those up. What's four plus negative eight? That is negative four. Add it in half. That's and what the divide by two is. The divide by two is negative two. It's negative two. So that gets us down to this one or this one. Now you do the same thing with the y values. You have eight plus negative 12 over two. What does that become? That is negative four, and then I cut that in half, and that's negative two. So the answer is? Negative two and negative two. Letter B, yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so here is another one. Identify the coordinates of the midpoint. Yeah. So this next question is like this one that we just did. So if you got this formula down, um, you're going to want to use it. You're going to, they, they give you the endpoints. They give you, you know, two, the piece of string and, mm -hmm. and they want you to find that where that, that middle is. So it's the same as the previous problem. You're going to find the average of these two points and then yep. you're going to find the average of those two points. Okay.
answer is letter A. Letter A. Okay, great. All right. So now we're going to do something. Uh, we're going to do something a little different here for the the next. Um, we're going to go back to number one. Um, what I'm going to ask you to do is follow along in Desmos. Um, so, do you have? Um, how do we want to do this here? Let's. I can't. I can't split the screen. So. Um, well, we actually can. It's just. It's a little can, too small here. Yeah, it's gonna be small. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do here. Um, I'm gonna do this. Um, do we need to graph them? Yeah, I want you to see the graph. Though. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a new share. Okay. And my new share is over here in Desmos. And what I can do is that first ordered pair they gave you is five comma negative three. And then mm -hmm. do you see how I can click on that label? Yeah. We can call that label G. Okay. Okay, isn't that nice? Yeah. And then um, they give you they give you the midpoint. The midpoint here, and that's why these are all a little bit different. They give you the midpoint is negative one comma three, mm -hmm. and the label on that one is is V. So so a uh, H is somewhere up here. Okay. Like we don't know where it is, right? Do yeah. You, do you see that it's somewhere up here? Yeah, it's just somewhere up there. Okay. But you you make a jump. Do you see how you make a jump from G to V? Yeah. Like, can you visual visualize a jump, and then yeah. you can make another jump to get like if these were steps. So do we have to go like from right up and then left sideways? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the other other. Um, screen and try to try to explain this uh, uh, using the picture so let's just assume g was down here okay. and, and v v was here right yeah so there's a jump to get to it and then okay. h h has the same jump like h is up here somewhere but it's got okay. the same jump so what is the jump from five let me let me make the ordered pair slide. let me let me uh, write them down here because they're they're on two lines what is the jump from five to negative one? Like, how do you go from five to negative one? What's the math operation? You have to, you have to add, I mean, oh, you have to subtract six. So what happens if you subtract six again? You get negative seven. You get negative seven. Okay, now you can see the answer is that, but let's do the next one. How do you go from negative three to three? You add six. You add six. So now we're gonna add six again. You get nine. Is that the right answer? Yep, sure is. That's interesting. So notice V is the midpoint of G to H. So you you go, you, you you almost want to look at this as G V H, and you figure out the jump G to V, and then the mm -hmm. jump from V to H. So let's look at another question, and see if this concept is uh, clearer. Okay, so let's grab. All right, so D is the midpoint of RJ. So it goes, it goes R to D to J. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here's R minus four comma seven. Okay, here's D two comma minus one. So we're trying to figure out this pair over here, J. This is, this is R. D and J. So we need to figure out the jump. I call it the jump mm -hmm. for that one. What was the jump from negative four to two? It's plus six. So what's the jump here? Plus six equals eight. Eight. Okay. So now we already know the answer, but let's keep going. Seven to negative one is? Seven to negative one is negative eight. Okay. So you're going to subtract eight again. You get nine, negative nine. Good. Now this is this works because you know the jump forward. This also goes backward. Like let's say they give you J and then D, you would just jump backwards. Maybe that's what this one is. Um, nope, it's a forwards jump. So this next one is just like what we just did. So go ahead and give this one a try on your own, please. It's just like the one we just did. 
Okay. The answer is letter B. I agree. All right, R is the midpoint. Okay, this last one is just like the one you just did. Okay. So I'll snip that in and you give that one a try here. The answer is letter C. Very good. Doing great. Um, hopefully this is clear now that we're going through it. Yeah. Would it have been better to do this earlier? Like, um, like, did you do too many lessons in a row where this wasn't clear or did, you know? No, it's, it's going good. I'm understanding it. I'm writing down all the notes. Great. Okay, so that's uh, Thursday's lesson. Let's go to Friday's lesson. It's looking like we're probably not going to get to the quiz today and we'll have to schedule something for tomorrow on it. But uh, okay. um, let's, uh, let's take a look here and see what we got for 1.2 Friday. Uh, nearest tenth between uh, perimeter. Ooh. This one is going to take us a while. So let me go and see if, if um, this, that's quite long lesson. So let me go look at the one from Monday and see if, if, um, if we can cover this one. Okay, we'll start this one and um, just, I need to look through it. So let's see if there's one that's clear. This one has a lot of, well, I guess I can get this here, okay. It's, uh, it's, it's just, it's like, we got to get to the ones that we can do first. Okay. Identify the transformation suggested by the movement of the minute hand of a clock in 15 minutes. So a clock, they're talking about an old style clock where at, at midday, both the minute and the hour hand point straight up. 
Okay. And then, so that's, that's 12 PM. And then later on, to change colors here, later on, the minute hand points over here and the hour hand just slightly changed. And this is, this is 12, 15 PM. It's probably been a while since you've seen this. Yeah. So they're asking, what, what do you call this right here in red? And that's a rotation. Okay. So we can start with that here. All right, the next question we're gonna do is number two. I think you did this earlier, um, but we're gonna, uh, Given points, these two points, identify UV and its reflection across the x-axis. So I'm going to grab the correct answer, and then hopefully we can discuss why this is the correct answer. This format isn't great for these graphical problems because you just, you just either get it right or not. So U is negative 4 up to 4. four. Yep. So there's U, OK? Mm -hmm. V is 5, 1. There's V, OK? Okay. Now, this is the x-axis here. Yep. So a reflection over it, these have to be the same length, and oh. these have to be the same length here. Do you see that? Yeah. So let's say, let's say the axis is here, and I give you something simple like that. It reflects down here like this. See how these, these are the same? And these yeah. are the same. Okay, so that's why that's that's why that is is correct. It's it's tough for me to to do much much more than that here. Um, D F D F So I'm looking at the next one and it's, it's like, this isn't right. There we go. Minus three, minus one. Okay. All right, so uh, the way you should do these, like let's just say you could do these over again. You'd wanna go to Desmos and, uh, and, and graph these. But it's not that easy because you can't connect the lines and, and you would actually almost have to do this on graph paper. But let me try to show you um, what what is going on here. So the um, point D right here, minus three, minus one, minus three, minus one, there's point D. Point F is one, three, and G is minus three, three. So do you see that? That's in the blue. Mm -hmm. Okay, the reflection across the line y equals x, y equals x is this line right here, which they didn't draw, but that would have been really helpful to see. So for example, um, in this, actually, this isn't right, I grabbed the wrong picture. The, the um, if it's reflected, it should be something that's more like a straight line here. It should be more like this, do you see that? Yeah, I was going to say, like, wait, isn't that, then how, yeah, yeah, that's more. So I, grabbed, I grabbed the wrong one, but, but uh, we've got it. Uh, we've got it now. You understand, uh, I hope, here. Yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, identify the pre-image and the transformation. Okay, let me, let me grab these points here. For, so for the next one here, what I'm going to do is we're gonna grab, I'm gonna to go to Desmos and I'm gonna graph this. I'm gonna share, I'm gonna share, I'm gonna share that screen. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna come back and figure out the answer to this together. Okay. Okay. Uh, Cause I'll have to snip this out. So the first point is three comma three and we're gonna label that L. The next point is two comma four. We're gonna label that M. The next point is Minus one comma zero, we're gonna label that 
N. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so these make some sort of a triangle. Do you see that? Yeah. We're going to, I'm going to snip it in and we'll connect the lines, but let's look at the next one. So uh, minus six comma three, and we'll label that as uh, L tick. I guess it does that. Okay. Minus five comma four. That's M tick. And then the last one here is minus two comma zero. And that's N tick. So ticks are used. That's the little thing after it. Mm -hmm. They're used after the fact to, um, to like show the, the transformation. It's like, a, it's like the, the, the later point. Okay. So I'm going to snip this back into our workspace and then we'll try and uh, answer the question here together. All right. So if you're seeing my screen, this, this is the first triangle. Mm -hmm. And then here is the, uh, here's the other triangle. So to me, and I kind of have to tell you the answer, it looks like it's reflected over this line right here. Yeah. Okay, so what is the equation of that line? X equals... Well, it looks I... like maybe one? Oh, wait, that might be one and a half. Yeah, what's odd here is I don't see... Well, okay, wait, so negative one. Oh. So yeah, that's one and a half. They actually don't want the equation. They just want you to graph it. So it's this is a reflection. Oh. Of that. And this was for question three, right? Yep. All right, so question four is very similar. So what I'll do is the same thing here is I will, um, I will um, plot these points. The three of them are the same. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna share my screen. I'm just gonna go and do it and snip in the image. Uh, so just uh, stand by while I do that. Um, that's uh, two, two comma minus five. The next one is three comma minus four. And then minus one, Minus one comma one, there it is. Okay, uh, that doesn't look right. I guess it does, okay. All right, so let me snip this in. It's kind of like the uh, connect the dots um, stuff that you did as a kid. So um, MNL, there's MNL. Mm -hmm. And then you always start in the same order. So it's M, N prime, L prime. Like to me, this looks like it, it like sort of fell. Like imagine you're hanging something and it just fell real quick. Mm -hmm. That's a rotation. Oh. Is that something you've seen before, I hope? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it was with the clock. Exactly. Yeah, so uh, I must have I must have mislabeled this slightly, but it's uh, it looks like it's a rotation. Um, okay, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to Desmos yourself. This is the very last question, and I want you to I want you to take an attempt at this. I want you to graph the points like I did, label them. Okay, mm -hmm. it's it's got four vertices, so it's, it looks like it's a rectangle. And I want you to graph all of those points there and label them. And let me know when you're done with that. Okay.
Okay. I they're all labeled. Excellent. So now what I'm going to do is paste in what I think you should be seeing. Do you see your first set of points up here? Yep. Do you see your second set of points down here? Uh-huh. So this is the correct one. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to submit those answers. All right. Full mark. Okay, so we're able to get to get through three or four of these lessons today. We need to do last Friday's lesson and Tuesday's lesson and probably do the quiz. We can probably do all of that tomorrow. So I'll get back to you on schedule on that. Then you've got a practice test and a test on Friday. So we'll, we'll probably do that on Friday there. But hopefully your other classes are in good shape. And yeah. uh, thanks for scheduling. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Also, mom is going to be back okay. probably in less than an hour or so. Sounds good. I'll, I'll let you know what we're going to do. Okay. Thanks a lot. All right. Bye. bye.